Well, I've got some really unfortunate news for fans of CNN streaming service CNN Plus. After just one month, it is already shutting down. Now, I, for one, am completely distraught by this news. I'm a huge fan of CNN Plus. For those of you who don't know, laugh all you want, but there are literally dozens of us, okay? I love CNN Plus. How can you not look at that catalog and think, that's amazing? My favorite show is probably the newscast with Wolf Blitzer, but I also do watch Parental Guidance with Anderson Cooper from time to time. But if I'm really feeling daring, I'll tune into Jake Tapper's book club because I know my man always reads the bangers. So I'm definitely always looking out for his recommendations. So to me, I'm definitely sad. I can't help but think that if they had one more show, perhaps Mike Figueredo's Gaming Hour, the platform maybe would have been successful. But either way, here we are. So as Alex Sherman of CNBC reports, Warner Bros. Discovery is shutting down CNN Plus on April 30th, just weeks after the standalone streaming service launched. Warner Media launched the standalone news service less than a month ago on March 29th. It garnered fewer than 10,000 daily active viewers in the two weeks after its launch. Holy shit. CNBC reported last week the company said customers will receive prorated refunds on subscription fees. CNN CEO Chris Licht and Warner Bros. Discovery's head of global stream J.B. Perrette were among the executives who addressed CNN staffers during an all-hands meeting Thursday, according to people familiar with the meeting. Lich spoke first, empathizing with staffers that shutting down CNN Plus so quickly was a uniquely shitty situation, the people said. Perrette told employees that once new leadership made the decision that CNN Plus didn't fit strategically into the company's plans, the most logical move was to shut it down as soon as possible and not a second longer, two of the people said. He also cited previous discovery launches of niche streaming networks such as Food Network, Kitchen, and Golf TV, and said the company has arrived at the conclusion consumers don't want to pay more money for small services while Warner Brothers Discovery will take streaming risks. It won't undertake efforts where it already knows the end result, he said, according to the people familiar with the meeting. Part of me wants to be incredibly mean and start a petition to save CNN Plus and then get a bunch of people to sign up for it. And then perhaps if we're able to get them to reverse the decision, then we all simultaneously cancel. That would be the most hilarious thing on the planet. But on a serious note, look, I don't know why they're so shocked by this. It's shocking to me that they think this was going to be successful ever. I mean, you don't need a bunch of marketing experts and strategists to explain why this failed. I think it's it's pretty evident. In fact, if you go back to the CNN Plus YouTube channel announcement, they released a trailer and underneath that trailer, there's a comment that's very insightful from YouTube user A Fridge Too Far that predicted this. This person says, this will all fail in spectacular fashion for CNN. And it turned out that this person was absolutely correct. I'm assuming this individual has no training in uh, the market with regard to streaming, I think they just kind of saw what was obvious. Who wants to watch this? Who would tune in to this? Who would pay for this? I mean, there's there's two issues here, right? So first and foremost, it's CNN. I don't know anyone who enthusiastically watches CNN. I, I, I just, I, I've never met someone like that. I would like to speak to them if they like CNN. I mean, I don't even know what audience CNN plays to. Perhaps, you know, normies. But who's a big enough fan of CNN to not just watch it religiously, but then pay for additional content? Who consumes that much CNN? I just, I don't know who. I, I, I don't get it. Second of all, um, the market with regard to streaming services is obviously oversaturated. And, I mean, the more that streaming services get announced by these large, you know, networks who want a piece of the pie, the more that they're going to end up driving people back to pirating content again. I mean, Netflix is having this issue as well. They lost millions of subscribers. And rather than just like trying to get better content, now they're going to crack down on password sharing as if that's going to be better. Now, back in 2017, they actually tweeted that uh, love is sharing your passwords. But now all of a sudden, since they're losing money, they're going to crack down on it. Well, I hate to break it to you, but if you ban password sharing, which I felt like I was already paying for by paying for like four four households or four different simultaneous users, either way, if you do that, you're going to lose a lot more subscriptions. I'm not going to pay for it. Like I never watch Netflix, but I have a subscription because my mom and my niece and my mother-in-law watches it. So, I mean, I, I have no reason to keep it if you don't let them watch it. So, I mean, I, I think that this is the case with a lot of people. 
you're just going to cut off access to people who wouldn't otherwise subscribe and it's not going to be the best route for you. Get better content. Stop releasing dumb shows and shitty movies. Like, do better and people will, you know, pay for it. But this is a bigger issue with streaming in general. The market itself has become so disaggregated. Now, if you want to watch one show, you've got to have, you know, a Paramount Plus subscription. If you want to watch, you know, um, this other show, you've got to have HBO Max. It's like, holy shit, we're almost back to the point where the monthly price point was uh, comparable to paying for cable every single month. But that's an antiquated way to watch television because, I mean, who just wants to tune in and have them put something on for you. No, I want to choose what to watch. So uh, I feel like these companies, it, it was inevitable. They're going to get too greedy, bite off more than they can chew and end up shooting themselves in the foot. And this is really what we're seeing. Um, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. CNN, however, even if the market wasn't oversaturated, I still don't think that this would have had a chance because the shows, the catalog, it's so unappealing that I can't fathom anyone actually unironically watching it like i would maybe watch it to make fun of it but watching it for pure enjoyment purposes inconceivable to me I, I just i can't imagine anyone doing it so there you have it cnn plus is shutting down part of me wants to start a petition to save it just for lulls but uh, you know i'm not that cruel um they can take the l and um we'll just uh have to live without them unfortunately you know it's a sad world you know, uh, they'll be the one streaming service that got away, aside from Quibi. But, um, yeah, really uh, really sad for the three viewers of CNN+. Plus. Excuse me, the 10,000 viewers of CNN+, Plus. to be fair here. It's insane to me that we get more viewers than them. That's, holy shit, this is a multi-billion dollar company. And this YouTube channel gets more daily viewers than them. That is... Holy shit, what a catastrophic failure. This is embarrassing. I'm gonna come. Come, come, come. Do not come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. come. come.